Now, let me go to the very big surprise which Oracle now has brought in finally, which is the integration of RMC to EPM as well, which is Enterprise Performance Management. So Oracle started on with the Oracle Fusion as the main point. And this particular move shows that how dedicated they are to ensure that other cross-platform on the Oracle side, like EPM and such modules are also getting integrated. So now we have a data source for EPM, account receivable, account reconciliation, cloud services also integrated now with RMC. So now, apart from Oracle financials, procurements, and all those modules, along with it, you have EPM ARCS set of controls as well getting introduced. So with EPM ARCS, which is the account reconciliation cloud services, you can perform segregation of duties across EPM and cloud, and also check for any sensitive accesses within EPM's ARCS module. So now with this new set of update, EPM also now gets the due attention from Oracle Risk Management Cloud, because most of the customers have been complaining for quite some time that they do have EPM. So why is that getting excluded? But now with such new entries coming on to securing your accounts reconciliation, now we have data sources which takes care of that as well. But to deploy that or to make sure that you, you start utilizing the EPM ARCS data source, there are a few steps or setups which you need to perform with respect to synchronizing the data from the EPM side. You must have been already doing the synchronization for your fusion to run the various Oracle Risk Management Cloud controls. A similar kind of seamless integration or synchronization now needs to be done to EPM as well to extract the role responsibility information from EPM, bring that into Risk Management Cloud for processing. So with that processing engine sitting in Risk Management Cloud, you can perform all the activities for EPM ARCS as well with a selective list of models, which will start appearing for your environment once you're going to 23D and with Risk Management Cloud coming in handy to help safeguard the EPM side as well from an access perspective. So just the one prerequisite here is that when you want to sync the data source or to import the data source for EPM, the role which you are using needs to contain the two new privileges, which is to manage the additional data source which is nothing but the ARCS data source. So if you're using a seeded role, that's completely fine. It will be automatically updated. But if you're not using it, happy to assist you there. You can ping us, you can mail us, or even you can go to Oracle website and check their 23D updates, release notes to get more clarity on how you can do the synchronization and start utilizing the EPM side of controls as well.